Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, today's beer comes from Pariah Brewing Company. Uh, these guys are out in California. Uh, the owners slash brewers, Brian and Krista out there, uh, have sent me uh, several of their beers before. I find them very tasty. Uh, this is... Uh, their try or their example of a New England style uh, uh, double IPA. So I'm looking forward to this because I love that style and uh, see what these guys have uh, concocted and see uh, how tasty it is. So uh, Brian and Krista, thanks a bunch for, uh, for sending me the beers that you do. I do appreciate it and wish you much continued success out there. It is a tough market uh, and I uh, hope you guys are doing well. All right, guys. Uh, this is a 8.1 percenter, uh, very nice can, got all the information on it, uh, says 8.1 percent uh, here on the back, 55 IBUs, and they're telling you right underneath that, drink within 60 date of the date code. Uh, and the date code, where is the date code? I don't know, I don't see anything on the bottom, and maybe they're, they're doing something here on the barcode, I'm not sure. Uh, none of these numbers are meaning anything to me, guys. 680140, and then a 520523. So, uh. I'm not sure where the date code is. It says, tells us the hops are Ella, Enigma, Idaho 7, Mosaic, the malts are Pilsner, Two Row, Wheat, C15, and Dextrous. So, uh, not sure where the code would be on the can, guys. Uh, well, I know it's fresh because it comes straight from the brewery. So, not sure where that would be. Maybe uh, Brian or Cresta will put that on the, uh, on the comments uh, on the beer here. But uh, like I said, I'm sure it's pretty damn fresh because it comes straight from them from the brewery. Uh, but I don't see anything other than the numbers under the barcode here. So maybe that's uh, that's it. But uh, it's not it's not uh, registering anything. Uh, I'm not sure, guys. I'm not sure. So Mamba Mode is the name of this. So uh, the uh, commercial description on Untapped says New England style double IPA brewed with Ella, Igma Idaho Seven, Mosaic Hop. The beer is an absolute tropical fruit salad of peach, melon, grapefruit, mango, tangerine, passion fruit, white wine, and pineapple with a beautiful underlying pine and dank character brewed, with, brewed to commemorate the retirement of Kobe Bryant, a.k.a. the Black Mamas number 24 jersey. So, I definitely know who Kobe Bryant is. Uh, and that's it. That's the commercial description. ABV, IBUs. Uh, so let's do it. First beer of the day for me. Uh, so let's pop the top and get this into the glass. And it's coming out fairly clear, so the, the, the bottom end pour maybe it's settled a little bit, but it looks pretty clear. I've been the subscribers told me roll the can and all that. I'm just so scared to do that, and it's going to spew all over the place, guys. So I'll just assume the do a sip or two then get the back end in there and then if I need to do another sip before I go off camera that's what I'll do but anyway 
Let's get it into the glass. Food, parry, cuisine, barbecue, cheese, and peppery, monterey, pepper jack, sharp blue, cheddar, your stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, limburger, uh, meat game, grilled meat, and salmon, glass for a snifter, tulip, oversized wine glass, and of course, beer advocate, since it's over 8%, says you can sell or don't do it. They even tell you on the can, drink within 60 days. I'm going to try to get this all mixed up a little bit more before we get to the there we go. Look at that. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Ah, good finger and a half of head on that pour. Doesn't look like a New England style right now, guys. Like, I haven't got the bottom end in there yet, but, uh, and I can actually still see a little bit of light through the bottom part of the glass. So, not quite got to the New England style yet. So, we will get that back in pour in here in just a second. Looks pretty good in glass. A very nice amber color, rich amber color. Let's get it to the nose. Definitely loaded with hot profile. Wow. Pine, grapefruit. Maybe even get in some lighter fruit notes. Peaches. Apricots. Mango. Tangerine oranges. Hints of pine. I am getting a little dankness on the beer. Absolutely outstanding. Definitely, right now, a very nice West Coast style with all the hot fragrance and, and, and aroma it's got. Let's give it a taste. What do you think? Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Brian and Krista. That's, that's nice. That's very, very nice. Yeah, I got up in the upper 70s today. Beer drinking weather, just about. I guess warm like this. It don't take much for me to just suck it down quick. Alright guys, uh, before I ramble on, let me get the back end in there and see how you have it. You can see what it looks like now. Let's see how much it changes to get the rest of it in there. Look how creamy it is. That's awesome. Almost like it's had some flaked oats or something put in there, as creamy as it is. Very nice mouthfeel. Very good looking beer. Not quite to the bright orange juice color that I typically, typically call a New England style. Uh, definitely looks like an unfiltered beer, especially in the big bowl part of the glass here. And it's got a little bit of the haze down there, but not quite to the bright orange juice looking color. So. A nice attempt as far as I'm concerned. It's got a beautiful aroma, guys. It really does. Awesome taste. I would buy this beer if I could get it here. It's close enough to me uh, to be considered a New England style. Very nice thankness to the beer. Extremely smooth, easy drinking for an 8.1% alcohol. Super well hidden. Very nice. Very nice. And you will see the lacing is already leaving on the glass. Excellent quality beer here, guys. Very nice. You guys out there uh, can get your hands on these beers. Buy them up. Buy them up, guys. These are the favorite of mine these cloudy new england style beers uh i love them so we're gonna let it warm up a little bit and step on it for a little bit and step out on the deck since it's about 75 degrees out there and uh see where she ends up all right guys i'm back got just a little left here very nice like it's lacing is left on the glass uh, on the fence between calling this a new england style or just an unfiltered west coast style that it's more of the style than in New England. Uh, it doesn't have that bright orange juice uh, color and stuff that I am accustomed to, but uh, maybe this is their first attempt at uh, doing this style of beer. Uh, very tasty beer. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So once again to uh, Brian and Krista, thanks for sending it to me, but not quite to the New England style from what I have had already, but yeah, pretty damn tasty. So. Let's do the final chug on this one. Very nice hop aroma. Uh, 
very delicious. Uh, and like I said, I, I can't determine where any kind of date code is on the can. Maybe it's something to do with what they've written under the, <coughs> excuse me, the barcode. The, but I didn't see anything stamped on it. I do, I don't see it. And I don't see anything stamped on the bottom or the rim of the bottom. So uh, I don't know where, where the date code would be. Uh, and it mentions them on here, drink within 60 days of the date code. So uh, maybe uh, they can enlighten me in the comments of, of how to read the barcode, if that's where the date is or where the date should be on it. Uh, I don't see it, guys. So uh, I did find this very tasty. Like I said, uh, if I could decipher the barcode or, or knew where the date is, uh, this would be something I would probably buy if it was available here. So, very tasty. Uh, uh, but like I said, don't think it quite fits to the New England style. More like a unfiltered West Coast style to me. That's just my opinion though, guys. But still very tasty. Uh, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't say, uh, it just says Hazy Double uh, India IPA on the can here. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm considering it to be uh, uh, instead of a New England style uh, 9 out of 10 for me guys 95 pretty tasty beer uh, over to Beer Advocate Beer Advocate says 3.79 but you've only had two ratings on this beer in a very good range I think it's better than that uh, it's still a very tasty beer uh, but they're but they're listing it uh, uh, on Beer Advocate as an American Double Imperial IPA, which I agree with. Now, Untapped has it listed as a uh, IPA slash New England. Don't agree with that. I don't think it's quite to that category yet. It is an unfiltered, hazy double IPA and very tasty, but not quite to the to the New England style, which looks like orange juice in the glass, basically, guys. Uh, they have it at uh, 3.95, which is an their upper B range as far as I'm concerned. Both of these beer advocate and rate beer, now that rate beer changed their ratings, uh, you have to grade them on a curve uh, here, guys, because uh, none of them gets five stars or five bottle caps as far as uh, Untapped goes. So, uh, pretty tasty. Uh, Maybe borderline between their A- minus and their B- plus with those ratings from those guys, but I think it's a solid A beer, and that's what I'm going to give it. Uh, I enjoyed it. So if you've had this from uh, Pariah Brewing Company, uh, this is their Mamba Mode Double IPA. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.